Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This video is about magnetically coupled circuits. And here we'll be solving uh, two questions, rather one question in two parts. And this is on the request of a student. Now let me recall, we know that when two coils are side by side, the current flowing through one coil induces a voltage in the second coil. And this induced voltage is shown by a diamond sign. You can see this diamond sign and the value of the voltage is J omega M with the mutual inductance and this current I1. Similarly, due to current I2 in the second coil, there will be voltage induced in the first coil, which will show it here. And its value will be J omega M and I2. Now, how do you mark the polarity of this box? I use a shortcut method. I call it dot entering dot positive. That means the, when the current enters a dot, like here, the current is entering a dot, then the dotted side of the box will be positive. Now you can see this box here. The dotted side is dot is here at the top. So dotted side is at the top. So top will be positive. And with the same logic, when the current enters the non-dotted terminal, then the non-dotted end of the box will be negative. Now, in this case, you can see the bottom side is non-dotted end. The bottom side will be positive as shown here. We will follow this technique. And uh, just the uh, general idea that we, if you need to find this voltage, that will be in time domain, we know it is LDIDT, the voltage drop across this, plus the mutual inductance voltage, which we are showing with the box. So it will be LDIDT plus MDI2DT. And now this is in time domain, same for V2. When we write the same in the phasor form, then it will be J omega LI1 plus or minus J omega I2 for this one. And similarly, the other side. But if the parameters is given in terms of like J5, J6, etc., then we can write this equation in reactance forms also. So omega L will write X1 and omega M will write XM. So these are the formulas that we'll be using. Another important formula is the coupling coefficients K is given by M divided by under root L1, L2. And in terms of a reactance, it will be Xm, X1, X2, and X1 is J omega L1, and X2 is omega L2. This is omega M. And if the circuit is in a different form, like here, the auto transformer has been used, then same logic will apply here as well. In our case, this is the circuit given. For the circuit input voltage is given and a coupling coefficient is given, we have to find out V output. V out when the load resistance is 48 ohms and the other part is when output is open circuited, that is when the load resistance is removed. So let's see the first part when the load resistance is 48 ohms. So the first thing we convert V in into the uh, phasor form and for that we know v in co 10 cos uh, 377 t can be written in phasor form as 10 angle 0 and from this equation we'll find this unknown j omega m or j x m so from here x m is from this formula x m is k under root x1 x2 k 0. 8 x1 is 5 and x2 is 20 so xm will be 8 so j omega m or j x m will be j8 so now let's redraw this circuit with these values so the voltage input is 10 0 and j omega m we are replacing with j8 and now we have to take care of the induced voltages so we just draw two diamonds here and we have to write the voltages induced. And for that, let's see the current through the lower coil. Now this coil is I1 and I2, I1 minus I2. 
so the mutual voltage induced in the upper column because of this current there will be voltage induced here and so that will be the current multiply the mutual uh, inductor so it will be j8 and the current i1 minus i2 so we write down here and similarly in this case now the current only is i2 here so it will be j8 and i2 so we write it here and now let's also mark the polarity the logic that we have discussed already let's mark the polarity assuming i1 is greater than i2 the net current i1 i2 is entering the lower dot so net current from these two we are assuming that i1 is greater so it is entering the dot here so the dotted end of the other one that is the upper will be positive so we write it like this and similarly for the second one i2 is entering the non dotted end therefore non dotted end of the this coil that is the lower end should be positive so we mark it here this is our circuit complete and now we can write the kvl equation so kvl for mesh one from here minus 10 then 5 i1 and 5 i1 minus i2 j5 i1 minus i2 and minus sign j8 i2 simplifying we get this equation this is our equation number one now we write the equation for the second mesh here we're going from here so j8 i2 then since we are in the second loop therefore j5 i2 minus i1 and this minus sign so minus j8 i1 i2 and then we know wherever the current touches first that end is positive so positive here so positive j20 and similarly current touching here positive so this is positive 48 i2 this also we simplify so this is our second equation now solving these two equations we are interested actually to find i2 because we need to find v out okay so from equation number two we find i1 to be like this use your calculator in complex mode you can directly get this answer so we'll plug in this value of i1 in the equation number one so here we put the value of i1 solving solving i2 will be as shown here again we'll use the uh, calculator in complex mode to find the answer so this is our answer uh, in magnitude and angle form so 0 0.266 and angle 24.6 this is current now to find voltage we just need to multiply by 48 so v out is 48 i2 so the answer is 12.77 angle 24.66 volt so and now this is in phasor form since our input was in uh, time domain therefore we need to convert this into time domain form so v out t will be 12, 12 uh, 77 cosine 377 t plus this angle so i hope you have been able to follow this now let's see the part two when the output is open so output removed and so the output here now will be will calling will call v out so we can use the same equation that we have derived earlier this was the first equation no change here and the second equation except that instead of i to rl now we are just writing v out here and now we'll put the condition that the current is zero because when this is not connected the circuit is not complete therefore current i2 is zero so we'll put i2 zero in these two putting i2 0 we get this and from here i1 will be 10 divided by 5 plus j5 similarly the second equation will put i2 0 we get this equation and so from here we get v out as j13 i1 and now we'll put this value of i1 so plug again the value and solving uh, we get 18.38 angle 45 and we 
convert it into time domain. So 18.38 cosine 377 e plus 40. Now there's another way that you can try, and I'm calling it shortcut way that I we just modify this circuit. Now this was this circuit. We put I to zero, I to zero. So our new circuit will be just like this. And now simply we write the KVL equation. So from here, mesh one equation. And similarly, uh, from here we get the value of I1. Then mesh two equation. Here this drop, this drop, and no drop here, but V out. So from here V out is J13 I1 plugging in the value of I1. So we get the same answer and converting into time domain also we get the same answer. So I hope you have been able to follow this. Uh, please let me know through your comments. Thank you.